are sweaty. Can you were sick again, you poor thing. Winnie and I are gonna go grab some Tamiflu. I've just kind of been back and forth on whether I want her to take it, but we're gonna give it a shot, I think, just because she is getting kind of more miserable as time goes on. And I remember when I had the flu. And I'm gonna get a shot. You're not gonna get a shot, no. Oh. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get a shot. You're not gonna get a shot. I would be honest with you and tell you, okay? You're not gonna get a shot. We're gonna give it a shot, that's what I said. That means when you say I'm gonna give it a shot, it's kinda like I'm gonna give it a chance. You're not gonna get a shot, I promise. I will always tell you if you're gonna get a shot, okay? Mm -hmm. I promise, okay. Come here, it's okay. Hold on to mama. Are you cute? It's cold I know, it's cold cause you have a fever. Good morning everybody and welcome to a day in my life. And we're having a little bit of a rough day today. I was on call last night which was nice because I didn't get called in. I just worked, I think I worked 10 hours yesterday so a couple extra hours than more than normal. And Winnie had stomach flu this weekend and now last night Charlie took her to urgent care while I was at work because she spiked a fever again and she has influenza A. So we're gonna go grab some Tamiflu, give it a shot. I'm kind of on the fence about it, but she's getting sicker and more miserable, so I guess we'll just give it a shot. I'm gonna run some errands quick, get this girl back on the couch. How are you feeling? A little bit better. A little bit better? Oh, you don't look like you're a little bit better, sweetie. You're a trooper, aren't you? I think you are. A trooper means you're really brave and tough. You don't think you've been really brave and tough? Oh yeah. Yeah, you are for sure. This girl has been such a trooper. Like I said, she was sick on Thursday. Thursday and Friday she was really sick with the stomach flu and then Saturday she was kinda getting a little bit better and then Sunday she felt great. And then yesterday towards the end of the day she started like having body aches and then last night she ended up getting a fever. When Charlie got the kids home, she had a fever and I was at work, so I was like, okay, you need to take her in. Hi, I'm here to pick up a prescription for winter. I love you, Win. You want pancakes? I want three pancakes. Okay. Well, we'll just get one order, but it comes with three. Yeah. Mm hmm. Acting strange. I'm a nurse, so hopefully I'd be able to notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, when we got your medicine sweets, now we're gonna go get mommy some coffee and and Winnie some pancakes. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I don't feel very good. <laughs> it's probably just in my head. The thing that sucks about the flu, so like the stomach bug. You just have to make sure that you have really good hand hygiene. And don't get me wrong, hand hygiene is very important for influenza also, but the crappy thing about influenza is that it's also spread through droplets, through coughing and sneezing and snot. And when you have a four-year-old that maybe doesn't have the best of elbow coughing, I should also mention that I slept right up next to her this weekend, because I was worried about her. I was worried about you. Why are you sleeping? Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing good, thanks for asking. What can I get for you? Could I just get a grande soy latte, please? Absolutely. Anything else today? Nope, that's it. All right, it's gonna be 488, I'll get to you. Thank you. I'm sad that you don't feel good. I feel like I don't want to talk. That's okay, you don't have to talk, sweetheart. 
Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna go get you some pancakes. I think you're due for some more um, Tylenol or ibuprofen. That might be why you're not feeling very good, okay? And then we'll have some pancakes because you have to eat with your flu medicine, okay? So it doesn't give you a tummy ache. Hi. Hi. There you go. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. And here's a cup holder if you don't want to hold it, okay? When I think about yesterday. My, oh my. My, oh my. Kiss and so I did. What, baby? You bet. it's been a really rough morning she I went and got Tamiflu because we're within the first 48 hours she was sleeping for a nap and then she threw up so the Tamiflu didn't sit well which really sucks because I was kind of hoping that it would work okay and as you guys probably heard in the clip the farm I don't know the pharmacist was like really quiet he said that there's a small risk of hallucinations which my nurse friend also told me was a risk um, so I don't know, I wanted to give it a shot, but I'm kind of bummed that it didn't work out because she's really sick. She's been laying on the couch all day long and now she's sleeping in her bedroom. I put her in the bath because she threw up in her hair. I know that's kind of gross, but that's real life. I'm a mom and if you can't deal with that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, so I put her in the bath, even gave her a bath bomb and she just, she shivered the whole time. She just wanted to get out and she's like, I want to go to bed. So I just put her to bed. Typically on my days off, I will do a little self care. I will do some editing, planning, and then research for just content that I want to be doing. Um, and today I'm going to be doing all of those. I'm going to start with watching a course on Skillshare and I'm happy to say Skillshare is sponsoring this video. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I did a sponsored video pretty recently. I think it was actually a month or two ago. I think it might have been in January. So the course that I want to do is called Productivity Habits That Stick Using Time Theming. And this is by Mike Vardy. And he just kind of goes through how to better manage your time and how to how to create like habits that will make you more productive. And I obviously, I work a lot between at the hospital and at home. I probably work 50 to 60 hours a week. So as you can imagine, I have to be really like smart and productive with my time. I probably do maybe one course a week or every other week, just whenever I have time. And there are so many good ones. I always get excited. There are even courses for like how to be a better YouTuber. And like here's one right here where it is film lighting made simple like that's cool and storytelling in film using cinematography their video on a budget there are so many cool classes on skillshare even charlie he was like hey do you have a link for skillshare i'm like yeah go, go check it out in my video so i highly highly recommend joining skillshare it's really reasonably priced too the annual subscription comes down to less than 10 bucks a month which is super awesome you guys and there are so many self-made people out there and you can be one of them i'm one of them i you know i i've taught i've taught myself everything that i know on youtube on my own like i've literally learned on my own and i wish there was something like skillshare back when i first started the first 500 people that click the link in my description can get two months free of skillshare you really can't go wrong if you end up not liking it you can cancel it but you probably won't because it's that great so thank you again skillshare for sponsoring this video i very much appreciate it and with all that said i'm actually going to hop up on here kind of start doing the, um, the course that i want to do and then I'm going to start editing this video. I have a lot I want to do today. <laughs> um, that's why it's really hard having a sick kid because a sick kiddo because obviously I want to spend my time with her. But I also have a lot of things that I need to get done. So I just watched some of that course. I filmed the video. 
and I'm hungry. What time? I don't even know what time it is. Oh my god, it's 2 o'clock. I'm gonna go check on Winnie though, actually, because I don't know. I just worry. What's up, baby? Great. You're okay? You can keep sleeping, okay? I just wanted to check on you. Okay? Okay. Winnie was so sick this weekend and she had one day where she felt good and then she got this. It just breaks my heart, but anyways, I made some potato fries that have literally been sitting out all day. I'm actually gonna pop them on the pizzazz, just kind of heat them up and then eat some veggies with that. But first, hand hygiene. I'm trying to get at least half of the productivity that I usually get done done today. guys know how serious and important The Bachelor is to me. So I started it before. I'm gonna watch some more while I eat. I just made some like potato fries. Like I, I just reheated some of my breakfast potato fries. Oh, here comes Winnie girl. Hi, sweet thing. How are you feeling? A little bit better. Yeah? Was I've that? been not puking in my book. In my bucket puke. That's good. I think it was that medicine that made you sick. Yeah. I guess Winnie's gonna watch The Bachelor with me. <laughs> part of me wants to snuggle, but part of me is also nervous of getting sick. You know, whenever I feel about you, it's because I'm just speaking from my heart. You know what I mean? So Winnie and I have snuggled a lot of today. Now Delilah is home and we're gonna run some errands. All right, so we're at Target. I'm trying to find a duvet cover that I really like. Found one I like, but they don't have my size. What do you think about these comforters? I think this one is nice and comfy. This well, one? Yeah. Yeah, mommy likes more of a linen though. Oh. I really like the linen cotton blends and the one I want they don't have my size. I know this is kind of like the duvet cover that I want. I don't hate this. This is pause. I wonder if that's what that feels like. I don't hate that. Maybe I'll get that one. I don't know. I really like this one but all they have is full queen. But it's a good price. We'll see if they have your size. You're a medium. Here. That looks like a dress. I like it. Let me see. Yep, it's your size. Do you want that? Oh, it's navy. Yeah. I thought it was black. You don't just want a black one that'll go with everything? No. Okay, you're gonna have to find a shirt that'll match that. These ones? Yeah. They don't have your size. <laughs> what about some of these jegging ones right here? Medium? Oh, oh these, are all these are all capris. <laughs> we gotta go over here. Do you want like these? Yeah. Yeah, you want a pair of these? Delilah and I are back. We picked up Noodles and Company on the way home and the girls are having some screen time, I guess. Why is this so blown out? Because there's I'm so backlit. Making Cheryl's watch The Bachelor finale with me. Let me know in the comments if you watched The Bachelor and if you were surprised at who or who well, Peter did not there. propose to. If there's gonna be a cliffhanger. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if it's over or what. So far, anticlimactic. Mom, did winter drink out of my water bottle? No. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you check the link down below in the comments or in the description to join Skillshare. I promise you will not be disappointed. I'll see you guys next time.